Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to schedule a meeting in Google Meet directly from Google Sheets. So the idea is that once our data is entered in Google Sheets, a Google Meet will be automatically created at a scheduled time. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Google Meet. So that is why we will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Google Meet. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps of the integration, let me just show you the real time example. Okay, so as you can see, this is my Google Sheet. It has been titled Google Meet Schedule. And we have uh, the columns like uh, summary, description, start time, end time, attendee email 1, attendee email 2, attendee email 3, and of course, the last column that is scheduled. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter some details up to column H and we will observe that whether a meeting will be created in my Google Meet. Okay, so we are just going to observe in Google Calendar whether we are going to get a Google Meet from the data that is present in Google Sheet. So let us conduct the experiment. So as you can see, this is the summary that is interstellar movie discussion. We have the description and this is the most important part, the start time. So the event has been scheduled on 23rd of July 2021 and the start time is 5.30 p.m. And the end time is again 23rd of July 2021 and the end time is 6.30 p.m. So these are the attendees. Okay, we have attendee 1, attendee 2 and attendee 3. So let me just finish this row. Okay, let me just finish entering the details and let me just click on yes. Okay, so we have finished the we have completed the row. So the idea is that a new meeting will be scheduled in Google Meet. So let's have a look. Yes, as you can see, we have a new meeting, interstellar movie discussion. And as you can see, we have the same people who are present in my Google Sheet. Okay, so you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Sheet to Google Meet? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Sheet and Google Meet. So let me just show you the process. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p-a-b-b-l-y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. You can create your own free account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built my account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going with Google Sheets to Google Meet. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So in the trigger window, we are going to work with Google Sheet because using the data of Google Sheet, we are going to construct a Google Meet. So Google Sheet will come here. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so basically the gist is we are going to receive the data from a very particular Google Sheet. So I have created a new Google Sheet. Okay, basically it has the same columns that we have in the old Google Sheet. Let me actually cancel this. We really don't want this anymore. And this is a new sheet. We have the summary, description, start time, end time, attendee, attendee 2, attendee 3, attendee 4, or I mean scheduled time. And uh, what are the scheduled? Okay, so we have uh, the same columns. Okay, so we are going to integrate this particular Google Sheet to Public Connect. And to begin the integration process, first of all, just click on add-ons. When you click on add-ons, you will find Pabli Connect webhooks. Now Pabli Connect webhook is an add-on that you that have been installed in my Google Sheet. Now since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect webhooks might not have been installed yet. So first of all, just click on get add-ons. Now you must be thinking why I am working in incognito mode. Well, the answer is very simple. If you are working with Google Sheet and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the trouble of authentication. I repeat this again, always, always, always work in incognito mode if you're working with Google Sheet. Okay, so we have a Google Workspace in front of you. All you have to do is just type Pabli Connect Webhooks, this one. 
okay and uh, simply just click on this button in my case it is already showing it is installed simply just click on this button and public connect webhooks will be installed in your google sheet also now remember this after installing public connect webhooks do not forget to refresh your google sheet i repeat this again after installing public connect webhooks do not forget to refresh your google sheet so i'm assuming that you have installed public connect webhooks and you have refreshed your google sheet so let me just close this now there is something else I have to show you. As you can see, column H is our last data entry column. I repeat this again. Column H is our last data entry column. This is something that will come in handy. Okay, so let me just go back to add-ons, public connect webhooks, and just click on initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. Here we have to fill two fields: the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. So this is the webhook URL you want. You copy this and you paste it here. Then we have the trigger column. So the trigger column is always the last data entry column. In my case, the last data entry column is column edge. So I'm going with column H. Okay. So let me just click on submit. Okay. So there is one minor thing you have to do. Go back to add-ons, public connect webhooks, just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column H is filled, it will keep on sending the data to public connect and public connect is ready to receive the data. So what we are going to do here is we are going to enter some details one by one. Now well, let's start with the start time as well as the end time. Okay, because this is actually tough to fill. So this is a format that you have to fill. Okay, so this is a very particular format. And I'm actually basically copying this format. It's always better. So this format is actually known as the UTC format. So this is the format you want. Okay, so we have, uh, as you can see, we have the year. Okay, this is the month. Okay, that is July and this is the day and uh, how about we change the day to uh, 25th, 25th, okay, and the time, it is uh, 15, I mean, it is 17.30, basically 5.30, 5.30 p.m. Now, the end time will be, let me just copy this, once again, let me just paste it here. So, the end time will be, let's say, 80. Okay, so the meet will be for one hour. So let's start with the summary. Okay, the summary will be ring movie discussion. Description is horror movie. Please don't panic. Okay, just something random. That's all. And we have to enter the attendee email. So let's add some people's name i will be adding bill clinton 23 at the rate gmail.com bill clinton will be coming elon musk will be coming i mean attending the meeting okay <laughs> okay and uh, barack obama barack 23 or barack 56 at the rate gmail.com Okay, so we have three people, Bill Clinton, Elon Musk, and Barack56 at the rate gmail.com. Now comes the most important part, the scheduled. Now this is the last start entry column. Remember this, this is our trigger column. So I'm just going to fill it as yes. Okay, so the trigger column has been filled. So let's have a look whether public connect since it is integrated with this Google Sheet, has it captured the detail or not? Yes, the data has arrived. We have the summary that is ring movie discussion. Okay, and then we have the description as um, Horror movie, please don't panic. And oh, unfortunately, I wrote the spelling wrong, but it's okay. And we have, did we write the spelling wrong? Okay, let me just check. Please don't panic. Okay. Then we have the start time. So this is the start time. This is the end time. Okay. We have got that. We have the attendee email. We have the attendee email too. And we have barak56 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so now in the action window, we are going to introduce date time formatter. So you're obviously thinking, why are we introducing date time formatter? So as you can see, um, I am working from India. Okay, so we have the start time as well as the end time. That's obvious. Okay, now I'm working from India and this is in UTC format. Okay, so this is a time in UTC format. Now the problem with UTC format is it is actually 5 hours 30 minutes behind the Indian standard time okay so we may actually so that is why we actually have to subtract 5 hours 30 minutes from each of these time okay so first we are going to uh, 
format this one and then we are going to format this one and after that we are going to schedule a meeting in google meet so in the choose app let me just add uh, date time formatter this one and in the action event how about we make it as add slash subtract time this one and simply just click on connect so we are going with the start date so this is the start date if you may remember that is 25th of july 2021 5 30, 5 30 pm onwards now the expression is how much do you want to subtract i want to subtract 5 hours 30 minutes minus 5 okay minus 5 hour minus 30 minute excellent now the format that i prefer or everyone prefers is this one is this okay this is the one so from format is again it's the same thing so this is this was the format that we were working on earlier also so this is the format okay so the unique way to identify this format is it contains the letter t okay it contains the letter t okay so let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see now it is showing me some other kind of uh, uh, data other kind of uh, time earlier it was quite nice we had the data from google sheet as 5 30 pm okay but now it is showing something else but it's totally fine because when we send this data to google calendar it will automatically come as right don't worry you don't have to worry just subscribe 5 hours 30 minutes so we have the choose app as uh, once again date time formatter date time formatted it is then we have to select the action events as add slash subtract time once again just click on connect this time we are going to enter the date that is the end date so this is the end date okay or the end time okay so this is the end date or the end time that is 25th of july 2021 6 30 6 30 pm now once again the expression is 5 hours 30 minutes so i'm just going to copy this okay 5 minus 5 minus 30 i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to paste it here then we have uh, two format that is year month day hours and then we have once again day month oh i'm sorry this one okay let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see now it is showing 13 that basically means 1 pm so now somehow it has derailed from the original time okay but technically it is totally right because when we send this data to uh, google meet or google calendar it will automatically fix all this issue okay so this is because utc format is acceptable by google google calendar or google meet okay so we are selecting google meet and we are going to schedule a meet schedule a meeting just simply click on connect we are going with a new connection just click on connect with google meet okay so now it is asking me to choose an account since we are working on incognito mode and i have opened only one account so this is the account and it is asking me to come for my choice let me just press allow okay so it is showing the authorization successful now by default it is showing the calendar as aaron manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com now i'm interested in this particular calendar that is known as high priority so i'm just going to select that calendar okay so this is the calendar that i'm interested in so technically these are all the calendars that is present in my google calendar okay and in one of these calendar i'm going to schedule a meeting and this calendar that i have selected is high priority i have selected it now uh, let's map the summary if you remember the summary was something related to movie and the movie was ring movie okay ring movie description discussion i'm sorry so this is the movie name or i mean the summary ring movie discussion then we have the description so that this is the description horror movie please don't panic we have the start time so this is the start time and we have mapped it okay so again this is kind of wrong okay so this is the data that we have received from google sheet and we actually have uh, formatted it okay and this is the formatted data this is something that you get from the second accordion if you may remember so this is the data that we have received okay so this is the data that we have received so this is the data that this is the correct data that you want okay so let me just click here let me just click here and this is the data and we have mapped it then we have the end time okay same thing we are just going to map this one now comes the most important part the attendee emails now we have to follow a particular format to enter the attendee emails all you have to do is just copy this code okay 
and paste it here okay and this is how you map the attendee email you put in this formula remove the default formula okay and we have the first guy that is plain content 23 at the rate gmail.com okay then enter a comma space once again the same formula remove this okay and then we have elon musk then we have once again the same uh, i'm sorry the different guy i think this time it will be barack okay barack obama 56 at the rate gmail.com now we can ignore the request id okay we have all, we have got all the details okay so let me just click on uh, save and send this request now this is the request id is some random id that uh, once the meeting is scheduled it will provide now let's have a look uh, in google calendar now if you may remember the event was to be scheduled on uh, 25th of july so let's have a visit to 25th of july the calendar is high priority okay 25th yes ring movie discussion and we have three guys barack obama bill clinton and then we have elon musk all the three people all the guests are waiting so the presence of this data confirms we have a successful integration between google sheet and google meet now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to minimize all the windows one by one i'm going to minimize this window i'm going to minimize this window i'm going to minimize this window and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated google sheets to public connect and then you have formatted the time formatted the date and the time the reason we have formatted is because the indian standard time is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of the utc time now if your country standard time is different from the indian standard time or some specific time ahead of uh, utc you should know it accordingly accordingly okay so we have formatted the start time then we have formatted the date time uh, end time then we have uh, used this action window to schedule a meeting so now there is a perfect flow of data between google sheet and google meet excellent so not just these two apps you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with public connect if you have any queries please contact us at admin at the rate public.com also the link of public connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching